This is a short video just to show you how to update your firmware using the um, option of the SD chip that we can send out to you via via the post. Okay, firstly you'll need your your unit, your Shopmiser G700 update. This is for the G700. Okay, the unit switched off. If we put the chip that you've received through the post, which is which is that. If you slide that into the bottom left, you see that goes in there, and click it into place, and then switch your unit on. You know, you can see that, but that says G700 update comes up on the screen. Now that's going to start updating your unit automatically now via the, the chip. What we're going to do, when, when this is finished, the, when the update is finished, it's going, to, it's going to switch itself off and then we're going to switch it back on again. When we switch it back on, the first thing it's going to do is two things. Firstly, it's going to ask us for uh, to do the crosshairs where we tap the crosses. There'll be five of them. You also then need to... Um, tap the OK boxes, there'll be four OK boxes that come up as well um, that we'll need to tick them as well uh, you'll also when you tick when you tick them boxes and the crosses, we need to be using a T-peg or a stylus pen don't use your finger, you need to be using a T-peg, really that's the best thing to do the other thing you'll need is you'll need your product key which is uh, the five lots of four letters, as you can see, you'll need to. We're going to need to copy and paste them. So try beforehand to copy and paste them ready, just to slot straight into the box when we ask for it. You'll also need your USB cable and your PC connected. Okay, so that's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the chip. Just leave that safe somewhere once you've took it out. And then we're going to switch the unit back on. And this is when it's going to ask me now to do the, the crosshairs. You need to do this fairly quickly. If you don't do it fairly quickly and get it wrong, it'll ask you, just ask you to do it again. And then there's the four OK boxes. And there we are. OK, so that the update is actually on the unit now. But we still need to produce the, the new licence key. Which... The way we do that is with the unit switched on, we're going to plug it in to the USB cable. The USB cable use the USB cable that's, that's connected to your PC or your laptop. So plug that in. And then we're going to load the software, the Shopmiser software, which is this here. You can see that. And this will come up. Now what we're looking for is that box. Okay, then we're going to tap the press to connect button. And that needs to turn blue, so keep your finger on there you go. There we go. Okay. So they're now both connected. If that comes up, the auto if the auto play screen comes up, it's just asking you what's on there. Just just red cross that, get rid of that. Now what we're going to do, you can see there's nothing in the boxes, but this bottom arrow and the top arrow, they need to be orange and blue. That means your unit's connected. What we're going to do is go to the help. There's four options across the top. Go to help. Drop down menu, you've got six options. The third one is install new license. Click on install new license, and now it's asking you for your product key, your five lots of four letters product key. So if you've copied and pasted it, right click and then press paste. You might you may choose just to type it in, that's up to you. And there's there's the product key. And if it's the correct product key you've put in, it'll give you the tick, the green tick which then allows us to go ahead and just press install new license and that is it the, the software the update is now done so all we're going to do is go ahead with the unit now unplug it just simply unplug it 
and we're ready to go. That now has the most up-to-date software, and that's how to do the, up the update of the, uh, of the firmware. And that's it.